I was slowly learning what these men were about. I was starting to realize they weren't heathens. I was starting to realize that, you know, they weren't savages, they were my grandfathers. They were my uncles, you know. And my grandfather taught me how to use it. My father taught me how to use it. So we use it, you know. It's a miracle drug. But a lot of my, my relatives that don't understand it condemn it. So when I tried to put this peyote away so my family would come back, then I get lightning struck and they say that medicine does more for the people well, than your relatives I ever come to. Every once in a while I get a guy that has doubts. I make him look through there. One guy said the gourds were, uh, I cut all these lights off for these kids' tennis shoes, you know, the ones that make light. And I said, I don't think so, you know. That's the energy that be. So dealing with all kinds of different ra uh, races of people, you always have to continuously get the spirituality in tune. There's a lot of doubt. You know. Okay, and see what they do is we put it in a blender and we crush it into a pulp. When see? It's dry. When it's dry. So these ones here are drying. Some people they make chips out of it. Where's my DEA paper? Is it hard to find? That uh, paper, the church? Yeah, let me see if I got the Yeah, if you could just. Back in the day, my father didn't tell them he was administering peel. So they just took it, drank it, because that's a medicine. But now that they realize I give people peel, everybody's leery of me. So in this way, you know, I, I try to teach our culture. You know, I try to teach our language like that. And here, we don't practice our way of life. We live our way of life, you know.